Surprisingly, the objections that we get from our customers are rarely ever from upper management. Once we've reached that level uh, of talking to people, they usually understand that security is such a big initiative within their companies that it's very hard for them to, to object to a secrets management solution that helps them increase their security. Typically, if there's you know, sort of any issues between people, it's, it's more at the operator level where people have a, a preference to use one product versus versus another one. And some of that is just uh, previous uh, products that maybe they're more comfortable with than using Vault. And it's uh, usually fairly rare that we find those objections over long periods of time. So what typically happens is once people see the breadth and the ease of use and the scalability of Vault as a product, uh, it's, much, it's much easier for them to, uh, to sort of champion against any of detractors that they may have in their company. And again, once you have a consolidated sort of picture or message for your management structure, the management um, people are usually um, on board uh, quite quickly with something along these lines. So if you're getting objections from people within your company about uh, whether to purchase Vault or employ Vault into your environment, what we typically find with uh, our more successful deployments is the fact that you show the strengths of Vault against any of the other solutions that may be causing objections within your environment and show things like scalability, um, the ability to do replication between your data centers, the ability to filter information between uh, various localities. So you may have regulatory requirements with, uh, say, like GDPR uh, in Europe, not being able to export data into the United States, and less so on the uh, sort of downsides of, of implementing any other solutions, right? So what we typically find, again, is the, is the fact that Vault is such a strong solution for your environments, is that in order for you to uh, sort of convince those people that are detractors, just show them the capabilities that you have and the wide range of, of secrets solutions, the wide range of authentication methods, uh, very easy uh, authorization policies that you have within Vault, and then the extension and the enterprise products, again, with things like replication, uh, Sentinel, uh, which allows you to do extended policy management, and then uh, disaster recovery for, uh, for increased um, sort of uh, reliance on your systems are generally enough from the strengths of the product to help convince those people who may have a preference for other products that are, that are out there or also how you can actually integrate these, uh, this solution with some of the uh, weaknesses of other products that you may uh, decide to keep inside your organization.